So we're just going to have a look at this Cuisina ice cream maker. We've had it a while but we've just decided we're going to use it. That's the box. That's gelato as well. And we'll just see what's inside. And we'll take the lid off. That's the instruction book for the gelato and ice cream maker. Inside we've got important safeguards, so health and safety issues. We've got a table of contents, product description with a picture of the contents of the box. More safety precautions. Why any instructions? A lot um, to read then. Yeah. Tips on using the ice cream maker. More tips. Cleaning and maintenance. Guarantee. After sales. And recipes. And so, what, what recipes have you got in there? I've well, got simple vanilla. Oh, that sounds simple. Shall we have a go at that one? Yeah, I think so. Chocolate, strawberry. Strawberry is one of my favourite. Yeah. Berry, ripple. Yep. Chocolate, coconut and vanilla custard. Then gelato, sorbet, frozen yoghurt and frozen drinks. Okay. And then there's the recipes. That's it really. Okay. So in the box, there's that thing. Not sure what it is. Looks like a something to stir the ice cream. And we've got this, that's the main lead. And then this lid comes out the top. Just chuck that behind there. And then we've got the machine in the box. You can have to turn the box around. I'll we'll just turn this sideways. See the machine in the box. And we'll just lift that up gently. That's it. One ice cream maker. We'll take the bag off the machine. It's all stainless steel, isn't it? Well, it's this is stainless steel. Yeah. Thank you. Is that the bag off? Yeah, sure. So inside there, put this lid. That's it. And another one of them. Just there it. Some instructions. Unit should remain upright at all times. What else is it saying? If unit is turned on its side or upside down, you'll need to return it to the upright position and wait 24 hours before you use it. Hmm. Yeah. Right, that's 
fit there. So there's a container inside to put your ice cream in and it sits uh, in there like that and you can wash that separately. So now in the instructions it says we've got to wash all the items before we can use it which we're going to do next. So we're just looking inside the ice cream machine to look at the where the bowl fits and there's a little drive cog in the bottom of the machine to turn the paddle to mix the ice cream. So when we undid the machine it took it out of the box we found this sticker to say that you shouldn't turn it on its side and it needed to be left for 24 hours. So we've done that 24 hours later and we've washed the bowl, we've washed the lid and we've washed the paddle and now we're in a position to use the machine. We'll just put it back together. Gently. That's it, so now it's ready to go. So I'm just going to show you all the different aspects of the machine. The side, all these louvers, that's for the refrigeration. That's the back. And then again, this side. It is reasonably heavy so you won't want to be moving it around a great deal. Right, so we're going to make this simple vanilla ice cream recipe out of the cruising art book. The first ingredient is full fat milk, 220 ml. That's it, 220 ml, and then 150 grams of granulated sugar. So we just change the scale to the grams. So because we haven't got any granulated sugar, we're going to use caster sugar in this recipe and see what happens. until the sugar has dissolved. So we're going to attempt to whisk it and see what happens. Can you tilt the bowl this way up it please? Okay. For now. whisking upside down. <laughs> bit old. Let it down when it's uh, all dissolved. Mm, tip it up a bit more. in a minute. It's starting to go all frothy. Oh, don't do it then. That's Is that a, it? Yeah. We'll say that's done then. So if you whisk it too much, um, it can start to thicken up. So yeah, that should be okay. We'll try it. It's first time. Then it says... Um, Stirring the cream and vanilla. Stirring the cream and vanilla. 
Right. Well, the cream is 450 mils. So we set the scale to mils again. Zero it. And I want 450. So what cream have you got there Robert? Well this is double cream, it's supposed to be 300 mils, so I'll put some more in, another pot. So that's 450 mils, then it says or vanilla essence, one teaspoon. So get one teaspoon. We've got a measuring spoon this time. One teaspoon. That's it. One teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then it says, stir, stir it all up. We're stirring it. See it's quite a bit thicker now. You can't quite see it. Well it, it's nearly coming out. Oh. <laughs> That's it then, lost a bit. And then it says refrigerate for two hours or preferably overnight. So we're going to put that in the refrigerator now for two hours and then we make some ice cream. Okay. Nothing good, thank you. So we've taken the ice cream mixture out of the fridge. It's been in there for two hours, so hopefully it's nice and cold. We're just going to whisk it up a little bit and then put it in the machine. We're just whisking it up a little bit. Like that. Can you show us which paddle you've got in there, please? Well, this is the ice cream paddle, which has only got one bar. There's another paddle for gelato with two bars. So we just pop that in. And we've got to try and tip this in, in there. So can you see? Okay. supposed to fill the bucket full to allow room for expansion. Then we pop the lid on. There's an arrow on the lid to line up with a, a locking mark on the base. So we pop that on there. Gently turn until it locks into place. And we're ready to switch the machine on and set the timer. So I'm just going to plug the machine in. I've just got to take this uh, cable tie off, holding the cable in. And just plug it into the mains. So we've plugged the machine in. We've got a standby light on. So I'm just going to press the power button to wake it up. And then we're going to set the timer. So the timer needs to be 50 minutes. So it says 60. 59. So that's 50 minutes. And then we're ready to start the mixing. So we're just going to press the start button then.
the whole screen lamp is going now and it's about halfway through the time 20 minutes or so the actual ice cream looks to be getting a lot thicker than it was and it's soon be ready to eat How much longer has it got on the clock? I just have a look, hold on. 21 minutes left to go. Yeah, and it definitely looks to be getting a lot thicker. It's looking like ice cream now. Yeah, definitely. The time is gone. So we're going to check out and taste the ice cream. There's two ways you can either eat it now or put some in a carton for tomorrow we're going to sample it today and we're also going to put some in the freezer for tomorrow I'll just unlock the lid and lift out the bucket the machine up. As you can see that looks like delicious ice cream. Yeah it looks quite firm doesn't it? So we're going to put a little bit in a fruit bowl to sample it. It is rather soft. Smooth. It's lovely and smooth yes. I think one scoops in all. And very <laughs> Do you think so? Two, two big scoops. <laughs> Do you think two? <laughs> it's a bit more Anybody than... Anybody knows me, you'll know that one scoop isn't enough. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that back in there for now while we're filming. Keep it cold. Yeah. So, on my ice cream, I'm going to have some walnuts, chopped walnuts, that were grown off our tree in the garden. I'm going to sprinkle that on. And top it with half walnut pieces. Well, these are special because they're grown, Robert's grown them in the, in the garden. In the tree. Yeah. There are other things you can have. Um, what we would eat with the ice cream, apart from sweet things, we have um, grapes, orange, lemons. And some sea buckthorn berries. Sea buckthorn berries. Can you just show us some? Really bright orange. Gives a proper orange flavour to it. Full of vitamin C. A very strong taste. And they're grown in our garden too. I think I'll pop some of those in my dish. I'm going to try it then, are we? Very nice. We're going to try it. See if it tastes like real ice cream. Very nice. Homemade ice cream with walnuts and sea book berries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really getting smart in this lockdown. <laughs> Talk about a stone heavy rather than not buy stone of you. Hmm. <laughs> Where's that bowl? Yeah, good. Oh, I don't know. We'll see what sort of face you put when you're eating it then. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> you won't need to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell how good it is by the, the look on your face. It's very nice. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite warm in here because the sun's shining today, isn't it? It is. Good day to have ice cream. And it, it's more creamy than I thought it would be. Really nice and <coughs> soft and creamy. Is it? Mm. I suppose it's not been in the freezer yet, so it's mm. not a good temperature. And of course, homegrown walnuts. Mm. Yeah, full There's of flavour. There's no hesitation with the homegrown walnuts. Full of flavour. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice. Good. Good. Good enough. Mm.
It's hot. No, oh, go on then. Just a little taste. Don't let on the video, or? No. Mmm. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? A bit more. Not just now. Well, I've got to do something with it now, so. I'll have some in a minute. So that's very nice. Um, so we're going to put the the ice cream into a carton now. Um, I've got some of these. Which are tubs. Airtight carton. <coughs> we're going to put that in the freezer, and uh, we're making a pudding tomorrow, and we'll try it with the frozen ice cream. So, look forward to the next event. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've um, frozen the ice cream overnight. So it's really hard now. So this is the pear, apple and ginger crumble that we've made this morning. So we're going to have uh, some scoops of ice cream put on there. So this is a hot uh, dish. The ice cream is really solid now. So what we need to do is run the ice cream scoop under the hot water, which makes uh, it easier to scoop because it's really hard. There we go. Lovely fresh made ice cream where you know exactly what's got in, gone into it. There's no um, additional additives. And now for the taste test. Mm. That goes really nice with the crumble. Lovely. Let's have a look at your face and see what the impression it's making. <laughs> is it a happy face? It is. <laughs> it's a bit close up though. <laughs> Can you wind the lens in? Yeah, we're in a lot now. It's better. <laughs> So, we're just tasting this, and it is. That's good. Mmm. Delicious. You know exactly that what's gone into it. In fact, next time we'll try um, a different flavour, either chocolate chip or that's poo ripple. See what they're like, but this is delicious. Okay, thank you. Good.